So we're back with Stuart Russell from Haworth Bassoon Shop in London. He's going to walk us through how to bind a reed using thread. My personal preference is using heat shrink wrap, but as Stuart's expertise is here, he's going to show you how to do it and then Rachel's going to attempt it afterwards. Yeah. Rachel's going to film me doing it, so it's, um, she could do it. Remember how to do it. Um, yeah, I prefer to use thread just because I've always done it and I find that my reeds tend to over vibrate a bit and they're made. So this helps to keep the reed together and stop it vibrating quite so much and being so buzzy. Um, so, my method is to cut a piece of my binding thread off first and leave that at the side, we'll need that later. Now, reed is on the forming mandrel, so it's nice and the, the handle's round, so I can do that with my left hand while holding the thread with my right hand. Now, I start with the end of the thread under my thumb pressed onto the handle so I've got a good tension, and then I bring it up to the left hand bit of the wire and I go round the top of the wire and then I come down over the, the end of the thread that I'm holding with my thumb and back round the bottom of the wire and that way it catches in the end of the thread and I can actually let go all right already without having to do a knot or anything. So then I go up to the top and then I go along, and I go down at an angle when I get to the end of the second wire, just like that. So that's my first loop, and now I just follow it slightly in front and leaving a little gap between the loops. So I go up, and there's that's my second loop. Go along, there's my first loop, little gap, back to where I've begun. Now I just follow that, so up to the top, first and second loops, there's my third, putting in now, leaving a gap, and, and then, because I'm holding the thread with my right hand and I'm twisting with my left, I can build up the speed, I'm pretty, um, I find it's quite important to make sure the threads go in the right place, because you keep it as even as possible, keep the gap as even as possible, then you end up with binding that looks pretty symmetrical, pretty neat. Also helps to create a good knot so the more tied up here. Or the th so the binding doesn't fall off once it's finished. But my method is to I don't use any knots or any glue. Um, so it makes it fairly straightforward, fairly quick to do. I've been doing this for a very long time, over 20 years, so pretty quick with the binding now. Um, and you can make the binding as big or as little as you like. But you just have to remember that it has to fit in the lead box once it's done. So if the binding is too big, you can't shut the lid, which is another problem. So I'm almost done. There we go. So what I like to do is before I finish, I just go round the bottom. And then I go up as if I'm doing another loop in sequence. And then I start twisting around the bark, and then I just pull down with my hand so the threads are kept together. And then just over halfway, I grip the mandrel with these fingers, and I use my first finger just to hold the thread because this is nylon thread really slippery, it will unravel very, very quickly. Now, I use my right hand to make a loop with the bit of thread that I had 
left at the beginning. That goes underneath my binding thread like that and up above the second wire. So I've caught that in and now I just continue binding to the second wire. Like that. Go around. Looks good. Again, holding that, I cut the end off the thread out there. Now, this is the end I've been binding with, and these are the two ends of the loop. So, the end goes through the loop, like that. And now, I just take the ends of the loop, and I just pull the thread through. So, the thread has gone under the binding. And now, I just use my scissors, just to pull the binding back a bit, just to push it back. That's it. Now get a knife, I just cut end off like that, just tuck it under and then the same at the end, like that, and it's done. So no knots, no glue, it's all finished, it's all very neat, fairly quick, fairly easy. That will now need varnishing from the first wire down and the varnish will soak in and it will make a really solid anchor. So the reason I like to, another reason that's good to bind is that this makes a slightly heavier end. So if you drop your reed, it's likely to fall that way rather than tip first. And also it gives you something to hold on to quite strong. So, but you can do whatever you like. People use glue, people use the shrink wrap. You don't even have to bind a reed and lots of people don't bind their reeds and then the reeds work very well. So, all done? Good.